In this video, we will be showing you how you can set up your box for very first time. So grab your remote, make sure that the USB that comes with your remote is hooked up to your box, and then click the OK button so you can go next screen. In this part, you have to set up your language. If you do speak different language, if you click on it, it will give you a selection. In this case, we are going to use English and we will click next. So press OK to go next. And in this screen, it will tell you if you do see any black lines around your screen that you can fix it. So in order to do that, you have to click OK and it will show you that says zoom in. So if you press OK a few times, you can see that it is zooming in. But if you want it to zoom out a little bit, if you press it a few times, it will zoom out. And this way you can fix this screen to make sure it fits your TV screen. If you press back, it will take you back to the same screen on your wizard. So in this case, if you can see that next button is highlighted with red color, and then you can click OK to go to the next screen. In this part, it will ask you to connect it to your Wi-Fi or Ethernet. So in this case, if you click on it, it will take you in to the network settings. You can see that the first one do say Wi-Fi, second one will tell you Ethernet, or if you are connected through Virtual Private Network or VPN, this part comes up. So in this case, we are connected via Wi-Fi. If you click on it and scroll down to where it says Wi-Fi device, right now says off. If you click on it, it will give you on or off. You can see that the off has a little dot beside it. So if you go up one and you click the OK button, it will change to on. And in a few seconds, you will see that the top part which says please turn on Wi-Fi is going to give us some names for the Wi-Fi. And it will change to scanning. Once your desired Wi-Fi name comes up, click on it and you have to put your password. So in order to enter a password, you do have a keyboard at the back of your remote. Or to make it simple, just use the navigation key in the front of your remote and use the on screen keyboard and go ahead and enter your password. Once your password is selected, you have to go to the arrow on your right hand side and select it. It will tell you that you are connected successfully if you have entered your password properly. And you have to press back one time and one more time to go back into your wizard. In this case, we are here using the navigation key, select next to make sure it is highlighted in red and press OK to go to the next screen. And there you go, now you have successfully set up your box properly and then press finish. And there you go, now you are connected so you can enjoy your box.